guess what time it is? It's summertime. It really actually is. Um, so today I'm gonna be testing out some um products, like a full face first impression. Well, pretty much. I have a Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, it has like everything in here. Eyeshadow to blush to highlight to bronzer. I'm really excited about this. And then we have a bunch of drugstore products. So it's gonna be a little best of both worlds here, so let's just start. I have already my base face on because I had like mastered, not mastered I wouldn't say, but like, you know, like you, you feel like you got like a good base going, you're not breaking out too much, so I don't wanna, you know, mess that up. So I'm just gonna start out with like blush, bronzer, you know, like the face color and the eye color and the eyebrows, all the fun stuff. I also like base base products, but I'm sticking to what I have right now. Um, I can do a dedicated video to like my face routine, if you will. Um, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Incident Palette. No wait, Instant Look in a Palette. I can't really read without my glasses. <laughs> Seriously, I can't. Um, so this is so beautiful. This is a pretty expensive product, I'll have to say. My mom and my dad did get this for me for my graduation. I'm not like graduation from high school. I'm graduating from middle school, so. Just wanted to clarify that. Uh, I would be more like, graduating from what? So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, there is, how many colors? Seven colors, um, and it's such an awesome packaging. It's like so sturdy. And do you see the mirror? There's like an amazing clear mirror. There's all the colors of the rainbow in here. These are like all the colors I use on my eyes. So these are the eyes, and then these are the face. I always start out with bronzer. I haven't actually been using a whole lot, so I won't use too much of it, but I still will because this looks like the perfect shade for me. Um, okay, let's just swirl in here with just like a normal brush. I'm gonna go on the temples first. Ooh, that is so warm. Oh, wow. That just like totally did like a glowy goddessness. Whoa, that looks so natural, but so um, there. Wait, that's actually really pretty. My hair feels really like, flat today. I need to like zhuzh it up. Does that ever happen to you? Anywho, okay, I'm gonna go a little more on the rest of the base. It definitely like carved out my cheekbones, um, but gave me like a bronze also. It's blending pretty well. I feel like there's still like, uh, oh, there's definitely a patch right there. Maybe that's just a natural face divot. I'm not sure. Uh, a little patch though. A little weird, but I'm gonna be done with the bronzer. I do like it, but it's a little patchy in my opinion, but a perfect shade for me. Not too warm, but not too cool, and it kind of just shapes your face really nicely, and it's not too dark, awesome. Then I'm gonna go in with the um, Cheek Swish shade. So the um, concept behind this is the Swish shade is where you go like all over your cheek, and then the Pop shade is where you like pop it on the cheek. So we're gonna go in with the Swish shade first. Oh, oh, I love, oh my gosh, I love this color. I love this color. It's like a bronzy pink. That's my kind of color. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna now go in with the pop shade. So you just tap a little off and you pop it on the cheeks. Um, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Really am liking this actually. To be honest, I feel like it gave me a lot of color without being too much. Okay, yes, yes. We're now gonna go in with the highlight. Look at my highlight brush. I put it in my travel case and it like, Bent. I, I like I zipped it in it though. It was bad. <sighs> Rest in peace. But um, since I'm sold out of the highlight brush from Frillian's, I, I this is this is the one I have. So I gotta. Um, we're gonna restock it soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just picking up more brushes, which is so hard to go through brushes. Um, anywho, I'm now gonna go in with the highlight. This looks so gorgeous. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm, you're ready too. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay. A little glow. A very light amount of glow. Um. See that patch? That's not cool. No, no, no. Highlights do not do that usually. I really don't know what I did. Um, I don't know. But I really do like the color. Ooh, it's so glowy now. It's really actually really pretty. Um, so I'm just gonna go on the apples and work up. With the highlight. I feel like I do have to use a lot to get like a nice amount of pigment. But it's still, it's definitely pretty. Okay, now I feel like that's kind of settling into my skin. That sounds like kind of bad, but like it actually looks so good. Like everything looks really good. Really into the highlight now. It's very subtle, but you can tell like that you're glowing. I like it actually, to be honest. Very nice. Um, I, wait, I don't know why I'm closing it. We still got eyeshadow to do. So I'm gonna take the number one shade in the eyeshadow palette with just like a little normal brush. Let me just make sure there's no product on here. You never know. Sometimes I forget to wash it, but I actually did, but it just, it stains the brush. Like my brush is a little, little tinted, if you will. No, wait, this is called the Brighten shade. My bad. So this is supposed to like brighten my eye. Just give it like a nice little like lift and um, it's not doing a 
whole lot, but it's kind of nice because it's very natural. So you can see that I did a little something something, but not a whole lot, you know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with number, there's definitely a little powder kick up, um, but I'm gonna go in with two. Ooh, I like two a lot. I like two a lot, lot, lots. Ooh, yeah, that gave me much more like of a shimmery, um, like, it's not shimmery to be honest, it's just like a glow, which you think glow would be shimmer, but like, to be honest, a real glow is not shimmer. It's just like a very soft radiance. Then I have the shade Smoke, which I know you're supposed to go on like your lower lash line, but I really can barely do that because of how um, I'm legally blind in one of my eyes. So like if I close one eye, I really can't see out of anything. Like I can't see anything, I'm not kidding. Um, so the reason it's called legally blind. Um, but. Uh, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the outer perimeter and kind of buff it into the lower lash line. I'm not the lower, the upper lash line. Ugh, ah, oh, oh, I messed up completely. Ugh, I hate when I do that. Another reason I don't do a lot of eyeshadow. If you're ever in a pinch, take your face powder, mine's Pixie, and just take it on a little fluffy brush. Uh, it will always clean up a mess, which I just made a mess. Uh, that's all, that's my fault, that's not the palette's fault. I just can't really see that well, so... Little issue there. Really, really like it because it's kind of warm toned, which is amazing. That's like my kind of color, but it's kind of a subtle warm tone, which is very rare to find. I feel like you only find like orange or like just not orange, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I like it, to be honest. Very, very pretty. Kind of glowy, but just kind of simple. Oh, I like it. Thumbs up for this, to be honest. At first I was like, what? But as it sits into your skin, like there's no patches anymore. I don't know, like magic, if you will. <laughs> um, really good job, Charlotte Topper. I really do like this. It's very subtle, but enhancing. Okay, so now moving into the drugstore products, I'm gonna take the Essence Make Me Brow. Don't know what that means exactly, but um, I really love drugstore products. Um, even though Charlotte Tipper is not drugstore, but I like mixing my products, you know what I mean? Um, you know, not mixing them, but like, you know, having high end and drugstore. Um, so let's try it out. It looks like the Gimme Brow, because Gimme Brow, way too expensive, but it's really good. But you know, expensive for just a little like tinted brow gel with fibers, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is probably gonna be just as good, hopefully. Good job, Essence, I'm really into that. Then we have another Essence product. I feel like Essence is just like the queen and king of drugstore makeup. Um, so I'm gonna take the Lash Princess, which I have tried before, but it doesn't really count because I like went in the water and then I just wiped it off, you know what I mean? So like that, I don't really consider like wearing it, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and pop that on. That is so pretty. I like literally just did barely a coat and it just like opened my eye. Yes, I really like this mascara. I feel like it's separated, but it gave me lots of volumes. You can really see my eyes. Really like this one, definitely recommend. Then I'm gonna go in with this little Essence lip liner in the shade, what is it? There's always like such little shade names, it's like hard to see it. Oh my nude, I think that's the shade. It doesn't say it on here, which is ironic, but uh, it's the only nude shade from Essence uh, in their lip liner. So I'm just gonna take this on my lips, cause I like lip liners cause they give you like a little definition. Usually I just leave it at this, um, but I have another product to try out. This is from Pixi. This is the Pixi by Petra Gloss Tint. I'm gonna go in with the gloss, okay. Ooh, I like that. It, like, it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation, but it's super, like, mmm, it's very creamy, and it tastes like mint. Um, and I feel like it kind of just added a nice little glow to the lips. So that was the makeup look. To be honest, I like everything. In the beginning, the Charlotte Tilbury palette was like, what? But as it settled in, it looks really, really good and very natural and enhancing. I love the eyeshadow in here. I love the mascara, the eyebrows, the lip products. So thank you so much for watching and